We're here with Aya Grinswag from Elite Central Vacuums. Elite Central Vacuums. First of all, I just want to understand what that means. Is that those, those cool things in the houses where you go to the side of the wall and you plug out your vacuum? Is That's that it? correct, yes. <laughs> so first of all, before we get to this business itself, I need to hear your background story. You obviously didn't do this. How long are you doing this company for? Over 20 years. 20 years? Yep. Wow, because when I see it, I still think it's a new it's a new fangled idea. So obviously it's around for a while. So tell me how you got into start into this business. The vacuum business, the central, is since 1957. Wow. That's when they started to do central vacuum. And the idea of central vacuum is that it's a bigger motor in the basement and it gives you much better suction. The way I got into that business, I was a salesman before in a, in a very big store. Selling and vacuums? No, <laughs> I was selling electronics. Okay. And very successful salesperson. And um, I went out and I was looking for a new job. So I had somebody, his name is uh, Ralph Bauer, uh, a person that he lived in Hastings on Hudson in Westchester. He was looking for a Heimische person in Borough Park to take over his business because his majority of clients was in Brooklyn. Ah. In Williamsburg, Borough Park. So I had a cousin of mine in Flatbush that tells me, Arya, I have a service guy. His name is Ralph Bauer. He's looking to give over his business. Would you look into it? So I said, sure. I don't have to buy a business, sure. So I went and I met him the first time. I remember on 52nd Street, the 16th Avenue. And he gave me like a big hand that shakes my hand. Hi, my name is Ralph Bauer. What's your name? I said, Ari Grunswag. Are you handy? I said, I think so. <laughs> Let's go into a job. I want to see how handy you are. I want to see if you qualify to take over that business. He gave me a drill without knowing the entire industry, construction. He gave me a drill, drill a hole over here. And he said, after a day, he said, Arya, I think it's for you. You'll be with me for the next few months. I'll teach you. I'll give you $10 an hour for helping me doing the jobs, and you'll have your own business. Nice. <laughs> After six months to eight months, I had my own business. Wow. Doing, the, doing this central vacuum? Doing central vacuum. Well, he just wanted somebody trusted to take it over, like in being good hands? He felt very, very close to the Heimische community in Brooklyn, especially. So he wanted to have a Heimische person to uh, service wow. them. So let's talk about this idea, right? I, we're obviously not talking about servicing existing vacuum people because I'm sure that's an industry that you do. I'm more interested, which I, I'm assuming is the brunt of your business, to put in new installations. So A, I would guess, correct me if I'm wrong, that the majority is, is new construction, right? Because that's the easiest way to put it in. So tell me, what percentage of your business is new construction? And what percentage is fitting existing households with, with, with um, vacuum systems? My uh, percentage is about 95% is new construction. <laughs> That's what I thought. And 5% because once you have the walls are closed, you can't really see what's behind the walls if you can run piping or you can do. And it involves a lot of opening penetrations, opening sheetrock, and uh, it's more damage than... Uh, that makes sense. So it's obviously new construction. So what's the selling point? First of all, what does a system like this cost? An average house, three stores, Every room should have one, I'm assuming, right? This plug, you plug it in and you vacuum. How, what's the average cost of such a system? So what I want to say is that that business keeps on advancing himself like every other technology business. So they keep on coming out with new invent, inventions, nice things. Um, so they used to have the regular system that you plug in the hose into the wall. You have like two or three or four in one of each floor. Now they have a retractable system that the hose goes in into the wall and you always have to pull out the hose in order to vacuum. So that, course, that's an advantage you believe? Correct. Because yes. you don't have to plug anything, it's always there. Right, you don't have to store the hose. Interesting. Um, the prices are like a, a three story with a basement for the older type of system, the one that you plug in the hose, I would say runs about six, seven, eight thousand mm -hmm. $8,000. And the uh, other one is maybe double or even a little bit more than a double. So let's understand, obviously, you know, the reason why you're here and the, and the purpose of, of the business. First of all, how many people work in your company today? I, Baruch Hashem, have four people working wow. and growing even more. A, it's, it's a beautiful, it's a, it's a very niche business. So the question is the convincing point, right? You, you're sitting here with people who are in the real estate industry or the construction industry. 
and they're speaking with other people. Obviously, your goal is to get people who are involved in this industry when they have new construction, please take us. So what's the selling point? Hey, not every guy builds a business like, you know, I don't, they don't think necessarily about the vacuum system, right? Not everyone thinks about a spa or indoor basketball court. How are you convincing people, hey, this is a good thing, this will help you? What's the selling point of this idea? Okay, when I started the business, this business was a luxury. Which it seems like, like I said, it's not necessarily someone thinks about. <clears throat> As I went on into business, I realized the clients that I have make me feel that it's a necessity. When they need a service, they need it that day to be fixed because they can't cope without having a vacuum system. No, I understand that, but the common concept so, of a vacuum, you bring a vacuum cleaner. What makes, how do you convince people to take this in the wall system, this fancy newfangled thing? So these days, these days, everybody, most of our people in our community don't have carpet, but they have regular floors. Do you need that a vacuum you, system for that? That you would say, let me take a broom, sweep up, and or that's a mop. it. Right? But at the same time you take a broom, when you take a vacuum, it's much more effective. All the dust is being vacuumed in. So instead of taking a broom, you take a vacuum, you vacuum everything, and it goes straight in. It's cleaner. There is a... Yeah, what happens to the dust? Like, where does the dust go to? It goes to a main unit that it's HEPA filtered. And there was a study, I think, in a, in a Pennsylvania uh, university that it's very good for allergies. Because when you vacuum, you vacuum all the dust and the dust goes away. When you take a broom and you sweep, you basically make the allergies so the, much. The concept is that you basically you simplify the system. You don't have to worry about carrying things. Every room has one, I think, right? It's not, and, and, and they can, you can hit every nook and cranny with the system. Every corner of the house. Got you. Is this your first year at OJBA? I have been here since it started, when it was upstate. I used to be for upstate, and when it was Brooklyn, and then when it's combined. I'm always a big fan of OJBA. Um, so let's talk tacos. I'll tell you what the, the question I, I have people, you know, people watch a, an interview like this or they hear about a show like this. They're like, eh, we came to Zam You know, they were just sitting, they're eating their shoes and they're talking. Oh, business. Who said you're making business? So I'm curious, have you actually gotten real leads that let the business through the show in the past? 100%. Really? It's not just the product. It's the personality that you come to show out. You're talking a schmack guy, but I'm saying, no. but how has it been <laughs> that people have, like, give me an example of someone you met here and they, refer, they, they referred you to a job? I have a lot. I'm telling you, I have a lot that, Arya, what's your name, Arya? Okay, we gotta be in touch. You have to understand, people that come to OJBA are coming to look for your products and they come to look, who am I dealing with? I want to know who is behind that product, who is behind that company, and that's a platform over here, the best platform. How do you deal with stress? Stress usually comes from challenges. Okay. So if you, you don't have the strength to deal with a challenge right now, put it in the side for a few minutes, take something positive, and then go back to the challenge. It's interesting you say that. I think that is the, that is the most common actually in well-studied answers that you basically step away from the situation right you step you away but do, you still have to deal you with do, it you say that's true but you say do something positive like what um, take a walk listen to some music engross yourself into something what do you do for positivity now when you're stressed what i do for positivity help other people very very beautiful um final question in, re in regards to your business um you're someone who has to be very proactive for such a thing, right? Because it's really you have a small, a small window when the person needs to build your house. I don't know if any buildings have this. Do, do any buildings actually do this as well? <clears throat> I it's try promoting it in commercial housing. It's difficult. It's usually private housing, correct? Private housing, but there is developers that want to bring up a value to their building or selling their condos. They would put in the piping. Let the customer put in the machine and to finish everything. But I want to give you it the question. It is a question that I would wonder, I would assume as a fear. I mean, you can, is that, you know, if I have a, if I have a vacuum machine that doesn't work, I throw it out, I buy a new one. I'm always afraid this doesn't work. I'll have to call a guy, service it, it's expensive. Is that true? In the central that it's expensive? Yeah, to fix, much more than buying a new vacuum cleaner necessarily, you no, know? No, it's a feature that you get in love with. You get so connected to it that you want to get that it. That you want to get it fixed, correct? I love that. Okay, listen, I appreciate it. Thanks Shukran for, being for here. having me. Thanks. Great for having job. Me. Great job.